So it's fair to say when hair cloning is finally here, hair loss will be history. The question is, when is it going to be here? To answer this question, I looked at the biggest companies doing hair cloning research today to find out exactly where they're at. And from all that research, I've been able to estimate roughly how many years before hair cloning is available on the market. Let's go. Watching my hair implants, the best YouTube channel on all things hair transplant. My name is Jabro. What do you mean you still haven't subscribed? Make sure you stay to the end because that's when I'm going to reveal the estimated number of years, my estimated number of years. So let's explain how hair cloning works. It's really, really very simple. It's actually very similar to the hair transplant procedure itself with one major difference. So just like with hair transplants, you start by taking a strip of hair, usually from the back of the head. And from these hairs, you take special types of cells that are able to replicate themselves and you replicate them in a dish just like this. This happens all in the lab. And then you take your brand new hair that has been cloned and grown and you transplant it back into the client or patient's scalp. It's really as simple as that. So let's kick things off by talking about why hair cloning is so exciting. What are the advantages of hair cloning? Uh, the first advantage is that it's a source of limitless supply. So at the moment, if your donor area is kind of weak, you can maybe afford to have one, maybe two hair transplants before you run out. With hair cloning, uh, you just have a limitless supply. You just clone some more hair every time you need a hair transplant. So you can have as many hair transplants as you want. The second advantage is that the hair is kind of uh, biologically identical to your own hair so there's no kind of worries about rejection or anything like that and it's suitable for even the severely bald so even if you have very very weak minimal donor area then hair cloning is going to make a full head of hair possible for you now let's have a quick look at some of the big companies that have been doing hair cloning research and exactly where they're at today so let me take you back about 10, 15 years. So back in the 2000s and early 2010s, universities were leading the research. So there was lots of universities participating in the research to get this hair cloning um, science all set up. But all the universities have slowly scaled back the operation. Uh, now all the research, almost all of it is led by private companies. Now it's a really interesting question why the universities have pulled out. Was it getting too expensive? Did they realize that it can't be because they think there's no market for it? Because let, let's be honest, whoever cracks hair cloning is going to be an overnight billionaire. So it can't be because of um, lack of market. Possibly they might have thought the technical difficulties are just too much and this is beyond them uh, financially. Um, I think that's the most likely reason. But anyway, now all the research is done by private companies. Japan, which is the leading country at the moment in terms of um, hair cloning research, um, have a partnership of a company called Shiseido and Replicel, which was really, really promising because we're using a specific technique uh, called the dermal sheath cup. They were getting uh, cells with this dermal sheath cup and uh, cloning them in massive numbers. And they published their phase two trial in March this year, but the results were very disappointing, very underwhelming. and. Um, some people said that you know the results were barely better than what you get with Regain, um, the spray solution for hair loss that's been around for you know 20 years. So very disappointing results so far. The next company um, is a company called Ricken, which partnered with an um, electronics giant in Japan, led by um, a chap called Dr. Suji. And in 2018, they announced that they aim to have a product in the market by 2020. But so far, no news. But they've uh, just made an announcement in, uh, I think, in August this uh, this year, so last month. So the way I found out this news is a uh, bit of a kind of long-winded way, and that guy, that, that's Dr. Suji apparently, and uh, this is a um, Japanese YouTuber who does hair transplant videos like this channel, and apparently he met with um, Dr. Suji last month in August 2020, and Dr. Suji told him apparently that they found a product that has outperformed minoxidil or regain and they would uh, they they hope to have this product uh, in the market to start testing this product very very soon so it's, it seems they've made a breakthrough but it's not being widely announced the next company is in the good old usa uh, that should say stem sen with an m uh, apologies for that uh, spelling error so stem sen a uh, very new company only two years old and uh, let's have a look, quick look at their website um, I, can't, I couldn't really see any kind of breakthrough news or anything like that. Um, they just educate you about the, you know, the way they're working and um, 
their aim to have this technology cracked, but nothing, no breakthroughs as yet. And they were planning to launch trials in early 2021. That's probably not going to happen because of the current climate. Um, you know, there's probably been delays to their plans anyway, so I don't think this is going to happen. Now, there's a really exciting method already available in the market that blends the principles of hair transplantation and hair cloning. Let's have a look. I couldn't really do, you know, do this video without mentioning this, the Husky method. So uh, there's already kind of a hair cloning type of procedure available you know, and has been available for many years. And um, it's available in the Netherlands, the UK and Indonesia. I think possibly also France, but I'll have to double check that. So this is the Husky method. And the idea behind it is uh, very similar to hair transplants. You kind of get the hair and transplant it from the donor area into the bald area. But the difference is you actually take only a part of the hair and you leave the growing part in the scalp so that in a few months time the hair regrows and then you can go back and harvest it again. So basically you leave the hair growing, that means you don't deplete your donor area. Very, very clever method. To be honest, I haven't come across any you know clients who've had this work. Um, so this is something, I might actually do a review of it. It's very exciting. So the obvious advantage is that you can do repeat harvesting of the same donor area, especially good for people who have weak donor areas. So why is it proven so difficult to clone hair? Because hair, if you think about it, is just a strand of keratin. So why is it so difficult? From what I understand, the first challenge is that it's proven quite difficult to get a good number of germinative cells. So these are the cells that can actually replicate um, so it's proven quite difficult to get a good number of this. Poor survival after implantation. So this is after you've implanted the cloned hair. The survival has not been good. And finally, it has been difficult to control the growth direction. So they found that the, the hair, the way the hair grows, instead of growing upwards, some hair were grow, you know, kind of growing sideways and some hair were actually growing into the scalp, um, causing ingrown hair and possibly infections. So this has proven a challenge as well. So how many years is it going to take? So back in 2010, people were saying that this is going to, you know, five to seven years away. And then five to seven years came. They said, oh, it's going to be another five years and then another five years. And it just been carrying on ever since. Realistically, looking at the data that I've seen so far, um, I think we are a minimum of 10 years away from having hair cloning on the market. It's disappointing, but I think the challenge has proven a lot more difficult than anyone realized. Anyway, I'm out of here. There's some videos coming up somewhere here specifically chosen for you. Subscribe, take care, see you soon.